Lancaster. Hello. You are nominated as best producer this year. Uh, yes. How are I you am. feeling? Uh, excited and happy. Yes. How, how do you think you're going to do? Do you have you got a good gut feeling about well, tonight? Um, I didn't win it last year, so if that is a pattern, then the pattern would suggest that I'm not going to win it. So Unless it's alternate years, maybe. It could, it could go either way, though, of course. I was going to say, your track record is amazing in terms of the bands you work with and the chart positions you get and the acclaim the records get. Like, how yeah, does it feel you. to have such a good like, back catalogue of work already at your age? Uh, I, don't, I don't really think about it in that way. I, but when on. you put it like that, you give me some sort of accountability that I didn't realise I had as I came in the building. Oh, now I have that, I have a certain sense of confidence inside me. <laughs> you should Coming from that. within somewhere, so thank you. When you work with these bands, how long does it take for you to know, okay, this is going to be a good merging of uh, you know, personalities, of taste in music, taste in production? How do you know when that's going to work? It depends. It could be like if you like them yeah. as people, or it could be like you, that doesn't matter, and it could be whether you like the music. It's somewhere in, it's every, and everything in between. It's like it's a difficult one to answer. It's a good question. It's like that unknown thing that should have said class sometimes. Yeah. I mean, mostly it comes down to the music, of course, but yeah. um, it's always nice when you get on with it. How do you feel when a record's released? Obviously, the bands are all nervous, there's anticipation, but it's obviously on you as well. How, how nice. do you feel? It's nice because I've been, typically, I would have been doing it for a while yeah. and I would have done it ages before it comes out. So I have to keep things under wraps. I don't talk about it. You know, I can't like, show the music or anything. It's not my music. So it's really nice for me when it comes out because then I can, like, so oh, there it is, I like this, here's my work sort of thing. Yeah. It's fun, it's quite fun. It must be quite frustrating when you have to be tight-lipped about everything. We get used to it because there's always something coming out yeah. and you're working on something behind the scenes at that time and that's going to come out as well. So. so what's on your bucket list as a producer? Are there any bands or any type of records you really want to produce? Money. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think... I mean, everyone gets like pigeonholed a little bit, so like... Um, my credentials and so on I think I'm probably known for the rock thing yeah. but it's not my capacity for making music is it's not just that so I think it's really to get recognition in in kind of other genres of music I make if that makes be sense. the dream artist then if you could poach anyone Rose Malone. he's in Reading this weekend are you gonna hunt I'm him down going, yeah Ooh, chats mate yeah Cool. Can I be there when the magic happens and you meet and I see this relationship start? Look, I'll be honest, I'm light years away from working with him, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stay in the studio for a couple more years and see what happens then. Just but yes, away. at that point, absolutely. Okay. Dream big. Yes, why not? Always. Yeah. Well, best of luck for tonight. Thank I'll keep you. my fingers crossed for you. Cool. Have Cheers. a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Nice see to ya. See you.